Welcome to the API Management and Application Deployment Tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the basics of API management within Mobile Fabric, the concepts of identity management, and how applications are constructed and deployed to a runtime environment. In the previous tutorial, we discussed how Mobile Fabric exposes backend services and identities to client apps by exposing them as mobile friendly APIs. Now, we are going to use the console to expose an identity provider as an API, and then we will associate that API to an application that we deploy in the runtime. Finally, we can use the deployed APIs in our mobile client that we will cover in other tutorials. Before diving into API management, let's take a look at how identity management works. When an application logs into its identity providers, the identity tokens are stored within Mobile Fabric. Mobile Fabric sends a single Kony token back to the client application. Now, when the client application makes a request to the backend, Mobile Fabric exchanges the Kony token for the proper identity token for the corresponding backend. This allows the developer to focus on connecting the app, not managing the identities the app needs to communicate to various backend services. So let's start with creating our identity API for our new application. Click the apps link in the left hand nav. As you can see, this takes us to a view of the app backends we've created. When using Mobile Fabric, a user creates a middleware app to manage the APIs, mobile services, and data that the app will need. We'll come back to apps in a bit, but let's take a look at the API management tab. As you can see, API management is separated into three tabs, identity, integration, and orchestration. Let's take a moment and focus on the identity services tab. As you can see, we have a few identities we've configured from Facebook, Kony SAP Gateway to Salesforce. We can also configure other identities such as OAuth, Active Directory, and SAML. Mobile Fabric allows you to easily configure which backend identities your client app should use to authenticate and authorize your end users. Alternatively, you can also use the built-in Mobile Fabric user repository if needed. I clicked on the Create New Identity. I can choose from a selection of identity providers in the tab. Once I choose a provider, the configuration screen changes to allow me to easily provide proper information to configure the identity service. In most cases, the identity provider will respond to a successful authentication with some security token that will be used to invoke other protected APIs. Mobile Fabric will manage those security tokens for you and allow you to specify when and how those tokens should be assigned to backend APIs to gain access. We'll cover this more in the integration and orchestration tutorial. Now that we've created some identity services, we will need to tie them to a client application. The Applications tab makes it easy to associate APIs we've created in API management with mobile applications providing traceability between the apps we create and the APIs used by those apps. Let's click the News and Weather demo app. I've already associated an identity service to my application. This is one of the identity services I created in the API Manager. From here, I can also create new services that are automatically tied to my application. If I create new services here, they will show up in the API management view also, but they'll be immediately tied to my app here. If I choose the existing app button, I can map an existing service from all the available services in my API manager to my application. If I want to look at the sample app code to help me connect to the identity manager, I click the sample code icon and I see the code samples from iOS, Android, PhoneGap, Java, JavaScript, and Kony. When we are done configuring our app, we can deploy it to its target runtime environment using the Publish button. Let's publish my app to the Acme App Cloud. Finally, you will need the app key and app secret to connect your mobile fabric runtime to your client application. If you click the key here, you can grab the app key, app secret, and service URL that you will use in your mobile app and connect to Mobile Fabric. This tutorial should get you familiar with API management and app configuration inside Mobile Fabric. The next tutorial will show you how an identity provider can be associated to an integration service to invoke a protected API. Please check out developer.coney.com if you need more in-depth documentation, as well as view other tutorials and post questions in our general forums. Thanks again for choosing Coney Mobile Fabric.